it is noon to decide how to safeguard the shipment. If the diamonds are stolen, they'll suspect me. Not if you arrange to be with them constantly. Leave your dictograph switch open and I will attend the conference by remote control. When I have learned exactly how they plan to guard the gems, I will make the necessary arrangements to counteract their precautions. I'd better go upstairs and be prepared for that 12 o'clock conference. Everything is arranged. Alice and I will go to the central airport and meet the three o'clock plane with a bulletproof car. We'll pick up the diamonds and follow highway number 29 to the signal factory. Well, what about the others? They'll stand guard around the war plant until the diamonds are safely inside. I'm excellent, but I insist on accompanying you. I want to be present to see those gems finally delivered. With only Terry Morton and the girl guarding the gems, our problem becomes easy. Easy? They'll be in a bulletproof car. Why, the impossible... Nothing is impossible for the Japanese. Have your car parked on Highway 29, somewhere near a telephone. I know just the spot. There's a phone booth in the Crossroads gas station. Calling MP. Calling MP. This is MP. Come in. The bulletproof car just left the airport. License number is 3M4265. The diamonds are in a package on the front seat. Okay, I got it. We're all set. Right. Get me the police. Attention, car seven. Attention, car seven. Stolen car reported. Proceeding north, highway 29. License 3M4265. Repeating. License 3 M4265. That's it. Get that bomb ready. What's wrong, officer? This car's been reported stolen. Well, that's ridiculous. Who made such a report? Headquarters told us to be on the lookout for it. Some mistake here. We can prove that without any trouble.
You'd better talk, Miss Hamilton. We have very effective ways of persuading people. I'll never tell you where those diamonds are. No? Then we'll have to demonstrate one of our persuading devices. Give her a front seat for the show. out as I pass telephone pole number 1512 on Highway 29. I'll call Sakima and have him send out men to look for them. The authorities are doing everything possible. If anything happens to that child, I'll, I'll never forgive myself. Hello? Yes, it's for you, Terry, the police. Yes, this is Terry Morton. What'd you find out? Well, not much, Mr. Morton. Our records show that the call came from the Crossroads gas station, which has a public phone. There's no way of knowing who made that call. Yes, the Crossroads gas station. The mass marvel. That's right. I'm trying to trace that phone call the police were asking you about. I have a picture here of the man I suspect. Do you think you could remember if he was here? Oh, I think so. I've got a pretty good memory for faces. Sure, I remember him. He drove a station wagon and bought eight gallons of gas. Gas? Then his car number must be on the back of the ration coupons he gave you. Oh, it sure is. I wrote it down myself. I re There you are. I can trace the owner through the motor vehicle department. 7X394. They're calling, Mace. Yes? Sakima speaking. The girl lied. The diamonds were not there. She alone knows where they are hidden. Silence her, and no one will ever find them. Yes, sir. Take the elevator up.